Genesis Rider here. I have a live Exile King of the Hill gameplay for you today, and I wanted to preface it by saying I was playing with some of my teammates, and we ran into a full group of SR-130 players matching emblems. You know the drill. Um, basically people talking smack before the lobby, and um, from what my I could tell from my teammates weren't very um, necessarily very kind in the previous lobby. One did compliment other person, but that's irrelevant as they were quite confident on winning this game as we dropped a teammate. Um, I would like to state that I have triple the hill time of anyone else in the game, so you'll be getting an, um, you know, sort of in the hill perspective of how to win an Exile King of the Hill game. The game was not where we stomped them or they stomped us. Um, it was much closer than that, and so I felt like it was definitely a good game to upload um, overall due to its closeness and due to the fact that we are down a player at the beginning and that I was in the hill most of the game. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be pausing the film throughout, giving you a few um, tips and tricks. But otherwise, it'll be my live reactions. We need to go really, really hardcore for this hill. I got one, I got one dead. I, I died with Railgun on the hill. It's on the side ramp. Railgun's on the side ramp. Banshee's up, Banshee's up. I'm shooting Banshee. Get in, get back up. I, need to back up. I just got raped by Banshee. We needed to get Banshee off the start. We need to push in, Mayor. We need to push in there now. Take your time, take your time. Push, push out. Got a new hill, got a new hill, guys. People in the hill are weak. Multiple targets in the hill are weak. I just got, they have a rock hog in there, be very careful. We need to go to that new hill, guys. We can't let them get 40 seconds. Nice job with the, the laser and ghost. Let's get in there. Okay, teammate, through. There you go. You guys, you guys can push out a little bit. I'm just gonna hold the side of the hill right now. I'm just gonna hold this side right here. We're gonna need to push out before the next hill comes. They're idiots for charging the hill last. Everyone spread out. Everyone spread out. Go for a new hill. Go for a new hill. It does nothing else matter. Just go for a new hill. So I wanted to pause here and mention some very, very important key mentalities to playing King of the Hill overall. These are general strategies that I found work very well for King of the Hill. So to start off, in the last five seconds of the hill, obviously the next incoming hill is foreshadowed. In other words, five seconds before the hill you're standing in, or the current hill, goes out, the next hill will appear on your HUD. As you can see on the right hand side of the screen next to my BR scope, D is incoming. So if your teammates have moved out away from the hill and you leave only one or two teammates behind in the hill to capture the last few seconds, your teammates can be charging across the map to the next hill because likely the enemy team is going to be trying to set up on that, which is key. This is why the enemy team is idiots for charging the hill in the last, I'd say, 10 to 20 seconds. There's really no point to charge the hill. And later on in this film, you'll see us, literally, I'll tell my teammates, hey, give up on this hill. There's no point to go for it. Because if you set up on the next hill, you can get 50 to 60 seconds in that next hill. So there's no point to charge the last few seconds of a hill because you're just going to die, respawn across the map away from the hill, or away from the new hill, should I say, and not be able to help your teammates. Another thing that's very important is that the hill counts down regardless of how many players are in it. You get the same number of score regardless of whether one or two people are standing in it. Therefore, you only need to leave one or two people behind in the hill. And you can the rest of the, your players can spread out around the hill and protect. And as the hill counts down to the last 20 seconds or so, your teammates actually need to leave the hill and go across the map to the next hill. And that's what we try to accomplish during this game. We need to go to the, that base. We need to go to that base right now. 
Let's push into this. I'm shooting the guys coming to it. The guys coming to the new hill are weak. There's four guys. I, I'm not able to take them out. We're going to need to get everybody in that building. They're, our teammates are not going to survive. They have like three people charging the side of that hill. We need to get in there right now. I wouldn't. Guys, to be honest, I wouldn't mess with this hill. Like, I'm dead serious. I wouldn't even go for it. Yeah, There's no point. We, we need to push out for the other hills. Just go to the new hills. I got, I got the new smart I'm gonna I'm gonna hold Banshee window. And if the hill goes there, then that's where I'll be. I, I totally missed that. I'm they, they oh, advantage. Banshee window. Banshee window's where it spawns. I'm, I'm piloting the Banshee right now. Got one laser on Someone get into this hill so I don't have to be in it with the Banshee. The Banshee's in... in Oh dear. Dan, back up. I know, I know, I know. I lost smart laser to an AR. I'm trying to get out of here, but it doesn't. They have a Banshee. They have. A, I'm sorry, a Mantis. A Mantis. One shot next to wreckage. One shot next to wreckage. Mantis is really weak. Need to go for New Hill, guys. Need to get out, need to get out. Can you help a New Hill? I'm, I'm getting, destroying this guy, New Hill. Nice, good job. I'm in New Hill. Dude, what the okay teammate? B Rex, put yeah, B Rex. Spartan laser spawns on middle. They're about to get Spartan laser on middle. I just got raid top middle. They have Spartan laser in B base right now. Or no, they don't. Not yet. Banshee window. I'm shooting Banshee window. Hold on. They're charging from B base. Dude, what the crap? Where the f okay. We need to get to hill, guys. No one's in it right now. Need help on. Need help on hill. There are guys behind us in wreckage as well. Probably go back. To, okay, yeah, they, you gotta go back across the map. But Mantis is up. Mantis is up. We need somebody to grab that right now. Whatever. How do we not have the hill right now? Something I want to point out here is that the cave doorway off to my right, right in front of Yolosaurus Rex, um, there's going to be a bunch of enemy players. I'm going to recognize that they're all over there and going to be charging through the cave system in front of me towards the hill from the side. And so instead of just pushing straight into the hill, because there are only 28 seconds left in the hill, it's over halfway completed to resetting, I'm going to hold this position sort of under the bridge, between the bridge and B-base area, and shoot the enemy players as they cross over and try to get into the hill. 
uh, most new beginner players would not recognize that this was what they were supposed to do. They would just run for the hill and not try to keep their teammates alive. My goal is to stay alive, and if, if I ran out to the open, I would be taken out so fast it's not even funny. This just shows my versatility in, of gameplay in this game. Even though I got three times the amount of hill score that anyone else did, I still was able to get into the Banshee and wasn't in a few of the hills just sitting around um, on the outside defending. It shows that you can defend effectively as you can be in the hill effectively. Oh, they're spawning right. They're spawning right. They're all spawning right. Yeah, they're all spawning right. We need, we need to watch this hill. It helped our hill carrier. Nice. Let's go for New Hill. Everyone spread out. Go for New Hill. It's in wreckage again. I'm, I need help on Hill. There's two guys. Two, two, three guys. There's behind the wreckage. Watch out for behind the wreckage. They're inside of it. So to the average eye, the play I just made where I charged the hill with only myself and my bolt shot, got one kill and then died, seems rather unfortunate and rather a bad play on my part and I want to point out something that many people need to understand more clearly in King of the Hill. No people can be in the hill or 10 people can be in the hill. It doesn't matter. The hill will still count down to a reset. In other words, by standing in the hill you're not making the hill timer go down. It doesn't matter. You could have two different teams contesting the hill and the hill timer will still count down. What this means is that it is even more important to try to put your body in the hill, especially if like you're alone and you, your team isn't necessarily with you. You need to get into that hill and start contesting it so that the enemy team doesn't get score. When two different teams are in the hill, no one gets in any score, but the hill skill, the hill timer still counts down to its eventual reset. And that's the play I just made there. I just saved. Um, our team from losing five to six points to the enemy team in score because I was just simply in the hill. I wasn't able to control the hill or kill everyone out of the hill, but if you're going to die near the hill, make sure you're in it so that you're at least contesting the hill and not letting the enemy team get any score. They have Banshee. They have an instant as well. I'm nading hill. I need help in hill, guys. Guys, we need to get into this hill. I have one shot. Yeah, I'm dead in hill. He's farther down the way, in the tunnel behind the hill. At least try to contest the hill. Let's go for New Hill. They go across the map to the next hill. New hill available. Oh dear. A bunch of, wow, Ban Ghost is in the hill now. Ghost is in the hill. We need to get over there. Ghost is weak. Ghost is weak. We need to push into this hill. I'm in hill, nice. I have hill, just spread out, spread out. Try to get the mantis, try to get the mantis. Shoot this, I, I killed her, I killed it. Okay, that makes no sense. Uh, he's in He's in the hill with uh, an extra war thought we need. I'm going to our base. I have hill. Just spread out around the hill. I have hill. Don't worry about it. You have the hill. Closing in on victory. Four people, yeah, four people lifting hill. 
I have multiple shots, shots weak, nice job Ghost. I'm, I'm picking the lift down, I'm waiting for my shield to generate. Or not, nice. GG. So as you can see here at the end of the game, I did pretty well getting the most score, um, and not the highest KD, but for someone staying in the hill, um, a very considerable amount of kills, assists, and a pretty low amount of deaths, almost a 2.0 KD. Um, definitely shout out to my teammates Aeolosaurus Rex and Mullet Man, very good players, and up and coming players Mojo Walker and Jay Kudo for playing with me that night. Definitely um, helped me out, and um, I love playing B2B in this sort of general setting like this. Now I can switch over to the other stats screen and see how much time I had in the hill. So you can see here that I had a minute and 37 seconds in the hill, um, five defensive kills, and I didn't realize this until just now, but the, I, I can't see the rest of the enemy team um, down the list. So unfortunately, I think I got triple the hill time of anyone else in the game, but there could be an enemy player with, you know, 80 seconds or so. So I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this film. Hope it helped you understand how to play King of the Hill better, specifically on Exile. And I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys. Yolo six going, Yolo source rice going ham with those five seconds in the hill, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know.